Hey friends, today we're going to read the Cars book because this is William's favorite book. Is it your favorite? Uh-huh. Yeah. So here we go. Cars. Disney's Cars. Once upon a time, there was Mama, a race car a doll. named a doll. Lightning McQueen who raced in the Piston Cup against Chick Hicks and the King. Here they are. This got all pings. He wanted to be the fastest race car racer in the whole Piston Cup. He won this cup race by sticking his tongue out at the very end, and he tied for first place. It was a three-way tie. Lady McQueen thought he was the best race car driver, and he uh, thought he was the best, and everyone else thought he was the best, except for his pit crew. They quit because they thought he was too cocky. They did not. He did not value teamwork, and he did not appreciate them. He dreamed of being the next face of Dynaco, getting a better sponsor. And he did not like his current sponsor, Rusty's Bugger Ointment, because he thought those cars were old and they were not cool. They were just a bunch of old, rusty cars. On the way to his next race, he loaded up into the Mack truck, who started driving, but he got sleepy. And some street racers came up to him and started playing uh, soft music, and Mack truck fell asleep. And before he knew it... Lightning McQueen had been let out of the back of Mack truck and left in the middle of nowhere in the dark. And he couldn't see anywhere where he was going because the headlights were made of stickers. stickers. He, Mack, Mack, Mack truck. Yeah, so he lost his Mack truck and so he sped away, but ultimately the sheriff caught him and he got caught in the wires here where he was taken to the an impound lot by Tone Mater. And then the next day he had to go to court because he was charged with reckless driving. He had to appear before the judge and he was charged with reckless driving and he was sentenced to community service. Let's get a book on him. He does. He has a booth. He had to pave the road that he had ruined with old Bessie the paver machine. And he was unhappy. Well, meanwhile... The doc challenged Lightning McQueen to a race in the cactuses, and Lightning McQueen tried to beat Doc in the race in the cactuses, but he lost because he didn't know how to make that hard turn. And he ended up falling in the cactuses and needing to mate her to tow him out. And then the next day, he worked hard and he managed to get the entire road paved, and everyone was so happy because the town looked so good. Look, Mama. What? I see, that's Tomater. But Lady McQueen was not happy because he could still not figure out how to make those turns in the cactuses. So he went back there and he was practicing. And then the fire truck people gave him a bath. And then he and Mater went tractor tipping. And that was really cool and funny. And the combine chased them out of the field. And then they went to the cozy cone for an evening. And Tomater told Lady McQueen that he was his best friend. And that made Lightning McQueen feel a certain way because he never had a friend before. Then he got to spend a night at the Cozy Cone with Miss Sally. The next day, he discovered that the Doc was the former Piston Cup champion, the Hudson Hornet. But Doc kicked him out of his garage. He said, what are you doing here? Didn't you read the sign that said, do not enter? So he and Miss Sally went racing in the, not racing, they went for a drive in the country up to the rusty wagon wheel. And they looked out over the country and Miss Sally told him how she came to like Radiator Springs and why she decided to stay there. Meanwhile, the next day, Doc finally taught, taught Lady McQueen how to go around that curb in the cactuses. And he said, you need to go back to your race. And Lady McQueen was like, eh, maybe I don't want to go back to my race. Everyone thought Lightning McQueen was leaving and they were super sad, but really he was just getting new tires from Guido and Luigi. And then they were all having a big important date night out on the road, going up and down the road and seeing all the neon lights. But suddenly Mack truck came and a helicopter came and they discovered where Lightning McQueen had been hiding out all week long. And they took Lightning McQueen away back to the races. And the whole town was sad to say goodbye to him because they really liked him. And then he was gone and everyone was sad. And then, meanwhile, at the races, Lightning McQueen wasn't doing too good against Chick Hicks and the King because he had not been training at all all week long, and his head just wasn't in the game. He missed his friends. But then he realized that they all had come with him to be his new pit crew, with the Hudson Hornet being his pit crew chief. 
and he ended up getting back in the race and almost winning, except Chick Hicks ran, had a big um, crash in the middle of the race, and he got all That's beat up. That's the king, not Chick Hicks. Is that the king? king? My bad. Mm -hmm. And the Lightning king. McQueen was a good sport, and he helped him get across the finish line, even if it meant he did not win. Everyone was so proud of McQueen for showing good sportsmanship. And he and Miss Sally became best friends. And then they he got to live in Radiator Springs and Mater got to ride in the Dynaco helicopter. The end. Mm -hmm.